Hey, how's it going you guys? It's Pep Platypus here and it's time to review another two episodes of Hunter Hunter, mainly because I want to watch the next one, like, immediately. I haven't watched it yet. I like to make sure reviews are fresh off of seeing an episode. I don't know what the next episode's gonna have in store, so it's a fresh review with no, like, answers given by the next episode. So yeah, this is episode 44, and it was another really good one. So we got fucking Yuvojin, Wolverine looking dude. I believe that's how you'd say his name. He's fighting the Shadow Beast. That's pretty much the majority of the episode. They have some kind, they have some cool abilities here and there. You've got the dude with the body hair. You've got the dude who's really disgusting looking and I don't even know how he's a fucking human being. He can't be a human being, there's no way. He digs into underground and shit. You have uh, the dude with the teeth, and then you have the dude with the leeches, who is disgusting. Um, and then you've got Yuvojin fighting them, and they start off doing pretty good, you know? Pulls him underground, takes a couple bites, he's poisoned, he can't move, but he pretty much destroys them too, and I pretty much expected him to, but the way he does it is just badass. First of all, the Big Bang Impact, Fist of Destruction. That was ridiculous. That was incredibly badass. It was awesome. It was some Dragon Ball Z level bullshit. Looked awesome. Really epic. I knew immediately as soon as he did that, he was without a doubt an enhancer. Um, but yeah, he does that and he takes out the worm dude who we think is dead. He turns out to be alive at the end of the episode. But um, he takes him out with that. He starts fighting the other three. Now the one dude with the teeth, he's biting him, putting poison in him and everything. They're putting leeches in his body and everything. They're doing pretty good, but no. The leech dude gets too cocky, he's really close to him. He literally bites off a chunk of his head, which was just disgusting. On a gross level and just on a fucking power level, that was disgusting. Um, spits him out, so he's not like a cannibal or anything. Or he did say his meat tasted bad, so maybe he is a cannibal, I don't fucking know. It's ridiculous. That was fucking freaky. Anyway, he's dead. Um, takes a chunk of his skull that was still in his mouth. Spits it at the teeth, dude. He's fucked. Goes right through his hand and right through his head. Very violent. They've definitely toned down the censorship heavily. I can see why this show, because it originally aired in a morning time slot and then got moved to a later time slot. I can see why they moved it. It is much more violent than it used to be at this point. Um... Then we get the hair dude, and he obviously can catch any type of thing that he would spit at him. So he just lets out this really big roar that pretty much fucks over the dude's eardrums. They burst, he's dead. Shadow Beast, down for the count. And, you know, and it was ridiculously loud. It knocked their entire air balloon that was up on the cliff down. That's how tremendous it was. So he's clearly just OP as fuck. And then we have... Kurapika, who's fucking super pissed because his shirt got ripped off and you can see his um, logo and Kurapika goes in, get ready to fight. Melody does some interesting, I guess you it's probably Nen, where she plays this song and calms everyone down, so that was interesting. Um, but Kurapika still thinks he can beat them and he ends up going in, he captures Yuvojin while he's still poisoned before they can heal him. And there was kind of a funny scene with fucking the one baby-faced dude. He's not like a baby, but he's like the really young-looking dude. The nice guy-looking dude, and he talks about the leeches and how they'll totally kill him. And the way they kill him is just awful. If you're a guy, that is just the worst possible thing. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, that was kind of funny. Uh, but he gets captured. They can track him down because of uh, Machi. She throws like a Nen, stitching Nen thing. Um, yeah, and then you've got the drive away, they've got him in the back, chained up, and Kurapika can tighten, like, he's like, dude, even if I wasn't poisoned, this would seriously hurt, so Kurapika's gained a massive power boost, which is cool, so, you know, from a combat standpoint, from a Nen standpoint, from all this stuff that we're seeing, this is definitely a very strong episode, the animation was good, uh, the violence was nice to see and everything, you know. Story progression, they've captured a Phantom Troop member, that's obvious, that's cool. Um, they might be about to crash into something because 
Um, Melody was telling Kurapika to watch the road, and he's not. And other than that, we just kind of find out about Kurapika's resolve and how he put, like, a little dagger next to his heart, or he can put a little dagger next to his heart with his conjuring ability to stab himself if he does not use his abilities on a, uh, a spider, a, you know, phantom troop. So that's character development for Kurapika, and we've got this car about to crash into something, most likely. So overall, it was a good episode. I wouldn't say I liked it as much as the last one, but there was definitely... We saw Eugen just be disgusting, just a monster, and just fuck everyone up. Uh, so that was great. Kurapika, clearly more powerful and everything. That's awesome. So, yeah, we'll just have to see where things go from here. Um, yeah, we still haven't seen Gone, Killua, or Leorio. They're still kind of chilling in the city, I would assume. But we'll see where things go from here. It's definitely very interesting, very good. I'm liking the combat so far. So, yeah, I'm not going to drag this out too much longer. This was a pretty dang good episode. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Well, I don't need to do the whole outro yet. I'm going to record the next review and put it together. So, yeah, I'm just going to give this one a 9 out of 10. And now we're going to review the next episode. Okay, so episode 45. This was pretty badass. Um, so... We pick up with the car chase. Nothing was really in front of them, so I don't really know. <laughs> it seemed like he was going to crash into something, but I guess she was just telling him to look forward in case they don't, so they don't crash. But they're being followed by the Phantom Troop. They're cramped into a little car, driving. They find the little string that, uh, what's-her-name attached. They throw it off. Then the Phantom Troop gets attacked by more Shadow Beasts. They get attacked by the dude who was able to take the treasure and put it inside a little bag. He actually traps their entire car inside of a little bag, so that Nen ability is very powerful. But they all escape the car, except for the one samurai type dude because he was cramped inside. That was kind of funny. Um, and then other Shadow Beasts show up, and we don't really get their names even, I don't think. They all just get destroyed without even seeing their abilities. Which is kind of disappointing, but it makes sense. It's to show how strong the Phantom Troop are. So, we got Phantom Troop kicking their asses. They keep the one dude who took the treasure for torture. And we see Kurapika's group take Uvo Jin in for torture. And, you know, he's basically like, eh, I don't really want to fight you guys. Blah, blah, you don't guys don't have the treasure, so let's just forget this happened. Kurapika ends up punching him right in the face, which was pretty epic. Um, then Kurapika goes to meet with... Hisoka, and that's pretty much that section of the episode. So then we have Kurapika meeting with Hisoka. Hisoka wants to team up. That's the important thing. He tells us a bunch of Phantom Troop stuff that we pretty much already knew or could guess. I figured Hisoka wanted to fight the boss. He had that jizz face. Um, but yeah, so he wants to team up with Kurapika. That's awesome. That's really that's really awesome. I really like that. I think that's very interesting. And it seems like something Hisoka would do. Then we have um, the breaking out of Uvo Jin, which is a few more Phantom Troop members, a couple we already saw, a couple of them that haven't been in action yet. Uh, the one weird tracksuit dude, um, he has like this crazy snake thing on now. I don't know why he wasn't wearing that before, but... Yeah, they sneak in as dudes with suits. They rig the conversation and everything. The one dude apparently can control guys with, like, a cell phone or something. I don't know. That was kind of weird. But, yeah, they break him out, and he's awesome. He wakes up. He screams. He's just destroying shit, demolishing shit on his way. He's pissed off, and he's like, we're not leaving, or I'm not leaving until I fight the dude with the chains, which is Kurapika. So that's awesome. They have their treasure because they tortured the one dude. So their goal is pretty much met, so I don't know how much longer this arc's going to be. I'd imagine it would keep going, though. I don't think it'd be this brief, considering how built up it was. But they have their treasure. The thing that's probably going to keep them around is uh, Yuvo Jin wanting to fight Kurapika. But I think the team-up is interesting. Um, the Phantom Troops, their goal has been met, at least for now, so that's some story progression there. And, uh, yeah, so overall I thought it was a good episode. Um... You know, getting the Shadow Beast, getting their asses kicked, shows how strong they are. So, it was a good episode. Not as good as the last two. So, I'll go like a 8 out of 10. Uh, I still really enjoyed it, obviously. So, it's not like it's going to get a bad score. It's not as good as the last couple episodes. 
But like I said before, the action was good. Uh, I love characters who just storm through stuff, like, so over the top. He's just, like, breaking everything with, like, his head and just ramming through walls. That was awesome. Um, so, yeah, I thought it was good. Very good episode. 8 out of 10. So we go from, like, what was I, what, I get that one, a 9 or a 9.5 to an 8. So, obviously, this arc is very good so far now that it's actually gotten into full swing. We'll see where things go from here. So I want to thank you guys for watching these two reviews. Tell what you guys thought of these episodes in the comments below. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.